Today I want to show you a new feature that ForeFlight has just introduced in its electronic flight bag app. Now this new feature is called Taxi Routing, but it's part of ForeFlight Labs, which is a testing platform where users can try out new features and give feedback to ForeFlight before they go live. So Taxi Routing is basically a feature that lets you plan your taxi route using the bubble editor similar to the way you do flight planning. It's pretty handy. Let me show you how it works. So I've planned a flight here from Oakland International Airport in California to Hillsboro Airport near Portland, Oregon. And I've got the silent two departure set up in the flight plan. Just to keep it simple, I didn't do any routing. And you'll see here that there's a taxi route button in the flight plan section. So I just push taxi route and it pulls up a diagram of the airport. Now, I have my uh, Phenom 300, you can see here in X-Plane, set up at the Kaiser Air ramp. So basically, all I have to do is just follow the instructions here in the taxi route editor. It says tap taxi destination below. And I want to, let's say I want to go to runway 30 which is kind of unusual because that's the long airline runway. But anyway, it gives me a nice long route to work with. Now here I am at Kaiser Air and I've got to go all the way around here. And it gives me all the routing here that it's, uh, it's already laid out. And let's just assume for the sake of simplicity that this is the routing that uh, clearance delivery gave me before taxiing. So I can just zoom in here and I can see all the details and I can confirm, yes, I want to use Taxiway Charlie. So I select that and it turns green. And let's say they said to hold short at uh, runway 28 right. So I'll click the hold short button and I'll select 28 right. And <clears throat> you can see that it turns the 28 right crossing blue and everything after that is red. So that's a major clue that I've got something that I need to deal with before I get to that runway. And after that, let's see, it's taxiway Bravo the rest of the way and all the way to Whiskey and to Whiskey One. You can select that. So there's my, my route laid out in the bubble editor. And let's say I start taxiing and I come up to my hold short and ground control clears me to cross to eight right. So I can just tap the hold short and remove that and everything else turns green. And I'm good to go. Now in this version of ForeFlight, there's also some other new features that are kind of interesting. If you click on the arrow and category, you've got a new wind temperatures and wind speeds layers and wind temps. And we don't need the flight plan here. Shows the winds at various altitudes, which you can adjust over here. And it also shows the temperature at that altitude. This is a very handy feature. And if we look at the wind speeds layer, you see the same depiction of the wind. And you've got your altitude slider over here, too. And you've got a speed legend right down here in the middle. 
Now, if you want to see what the forecasted winds are, you just slide the timer and go to a different time period. And it'll show you this anywhere in the world. Now, it does save this for offline viewing, but only the segment that's in your flight planned area, so it doesn't take up too much storage space. And here's another interesting feature that I like. Pick an airport here, McMinnville Municipal in Oregon, and I pick the 3D view of the airport. And it's got a new toggle at the bottom here where you can toggle between night and day. Now, if you put the night toggle on, you can see what the runway lights look like from any angle. And this is going to be really helpful for the first time you go there at night to see what the airport looks like, what the approach lights look like. Very handy feature. Well, thank you for watching and please add your comments below if you like to let us know what you think and also any other ideas you'd like us to explore. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.